Golden. Golden. Irrigation is also another very important step. Um, in fact, uh, it's important to remove the uh, microbes from the canal. Um, in endo, sometimes they say it's not what you put in, it's what you take out. And so we want to make sure we remove the debris, but also we want to remove the microbes, killing and removing all the microorganisms, necrotic and inflamed tissue, as well as the dent and debris. And so there's several solutions that we'll talk about later. Common questions that I hear all the time is, irrigation is often regarded the most important that we know, and it's used to kill and remove microorganisms as we talked about. But usually what is the most common irrigation for a root canal and that's sodium hypochlorite? Instead of a one or 2% solution, I would recommend a 5% sodium hypochlorite solution that's pre-mixed. Golden Dent has partnered with PacEndo to provide 5% sodium hypochlorite. So this is pre-mixed. In the past, we would have assistance mix bleach with water and it was never consistent, either too much or too little. With this solution, you never have to worry. For removing dentinal debris from the walls of root canals before obturation, the 17% EDTA solution is a great solution to use. This helps open the lateral canals as well. And then they also have a two-in-one EDTA and chlorhexidine. And so this helps remove the smear layer and the chlorhexidine obviously helps control and kill the bacteria. Usually the tips that I'm using are the golden tips. These are side vented. I really don't like the um, tips that have the opening at the tip of the uh, needle um, because if you press too hard, you may push solution out the apex and that would not be a good day. Usually the needle size that I go with is a 27 gauge. Mm -hmm.